Okay, Cliff, tell me what we're looking at. It looks like a fragment of something. Yeah, these are fragments from the USS Shenandoah, which was the first rigid airship built in the United States in 1923, and she served in the United States Navy. So at this time, what was the purpose of an airship? Was it for transportation, for entertainment? Why were they around, especially with airplanes on the rise? Well, the Shenandoah was built for the United States Navy, and the idea behind the airships was that it was supposed to provide reconnaissance for the fleet and help find the enemy and uh, provide the fleet with information. And in 1925, in September, she was sent on a publicity tour, and she was going to tour uh, some of the state fairs and other county fairs in the Midwest. Early on the morning of September 3rd, uh, when they were flying over eastern Ohio, they hit a severe storm squall, which caused the aircraft to break apart. And uh, the control gondola, where the captain and seven crew members, it was stripped away from the aircraft and they crashed and uh, none of them survived. It had a crew, normally a crew of 41, there were 43 aboard when she crashed. Uh, 14 died during the crash, but 29 survived because the uh, three sections that still contained it, some of the uh, helium gas bags uh, came down fairly gently. Well, this is part of the framework that uh, uh, provided the structure, the rigid structure, to uh, the dirigible. Uh, the framework is made of duralumin, which is made of aluminum, uh, copper, and magnesium. And, uh, but you can see, uh, it shows the, right, the damage the where, where it was ripped apart. Is it really heavy or light, or how did they? It's very lightweight. Is it? Can I pick it up? Sure. Oh my gosh, it's extremely light. And this is uh, something from the interior of the ship. These were from one of the gla gas bladders that held the helium that provided buoyancy okay. to the airship. And uh, it was made from the intestines of cattle. But at the time, it was the most impermeable material they knew how to make so that would keep the gas in. And this is a paper cup from the crash site. Huh, look at that. Uh, the crash site is in uh, uh, Noble County, not too far from uh, Caldwell. Okay. And uh, the crash site of the largest section is right near I-77. And you uh, can see the crash site from the freeway, and it's marked with uh, cement blocks. 